Hi, this is Chris from windsound.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add dither in Pro Tools 8, which is really great for making your track sound professional and making it one step closer to bouncing it to disc. Adding dither to the track is actually adding noise to the track. In actuality, the dither is the noise. The reason you do this is to take away distortion out of your audio. Now, it's not gonna take away the distortion of a track that's living in the red, meaning it's constantly distorting, Dither is used for, would be used for a well mixed track and just takes away the distortion that's unavoidable. So then, yeah, and another side note is you really only want to dither at the end of mixing your track once everything is really done. Then you want to add the dither and you only dither when you're lowering the bit depth. For example, going from 24-bit to 16-bit, so you can put your audio on a CD so the laser disc can actually read the audio. And another side note, if you're planning on sending your track to a mixing or mastering engineer, it's really best just to not bother with the dither and let them deal with it. But um, unless that's the case, you're probably going to want to add some dither to your track. Okay, so the way that you do do that is just go to your master track right here, click on one of the plugins, go to multi channel plugin, go over to dither, power dither. There you are. The dither is now. Oh, yeah, and make, make sure that the bit resolution is at 16 bit. That should be there by default, but make sure that it is. Sometimes it's not. Okay. And then um, after that, you're probably going to burn to disk. Just go to File, Bounce to, Bounce to Disk. Then just click Bounce. There, there you go. And, and sorry, I once, once again just made sure it's at 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz. That is very important. All right. Take care, and you can, one last then. sorry about that, keep on forgetting about a little important informations. Here you can make sure that you can change the file type, whether you want AIFF, MP3, WAVE, I'm going to keep it in a WAVE, but here you can change it to any file type you want. You can always get in touch with Chris at Wingsound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos including these titles featuring Pro Tools 8, available on demand at Wingsound.com.